So what I've learned about having a routine, daily routine, is that it kind of brings comfort and stability because you kind of know what to expect and what your day is going to present to you. Um, you kind of know how you're going to feel almost, uh, what's going to happen, what you're going to do, what you're going to accomplish. Um, it's kind of like a pattern and I feel like having a daily routine is super important if you're struggling with mental health. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression, it can help you. It kind of brings natural joy and energy and happiness to you um of course if you have a healthy daily routine um because it just clears your head more and so when you don't have a daily routine uh you have a random a random day ahead of you and anything at all could happen and that's what kind of brings anxiety towards some people when they wake up in the morning they don't know what to expect they don't know what to do uh what gets them out of bed maybe sometimes nothing and having a daily routine will get you out of bed because you have to start your routine by doing the first thing on your list um so that's why i feel like it can bring some comfort now of course Having a daily routine also means that you do know what to expect when you wake up in the morning and what the day is going to hold. And sometimes people cannot handle that energy of having a routine and knowing what to expect. You know, uh, it's almost boring to some people. Um, so I feel like a daily routine should be used when it's needed. So I personally like to go three months with a daily routine and maybe not three months without it, but at least a month without it um until i feel like i need one again um to just kind of like reset my life and like get everything together and then you know once that routine is kicking and i feel like i really don't need it anymore then i will break free and have those random days where i don't know what to expect what the day is going to hold in front of me and it having a non-daily routine also gives you new opportunities and it allows things to flow into your life that you weren't expecting new things happening new things presenting themselves to you um so that's why i personally like to sometimes break out of it just because i like to be surprised sometimes but having a daily routine is honestly like a stress reliever to me and i know that a lot of people could definitely relate so this is my daily routine or it was for the last three months um i actually just stopped doing this not even a week ago but so i'm now beginning this new month with no routine and i'm gonna see where it leads me what new opportunities um i will probably journal about it definitely so then uh, i will turn that into a video if wanted and if needed and if i feel like i should um tell you guys like what it's like to not have one Journaling is the key point of my routine. Um, that's what really gets me out of bed in the morning. You know, um, I have a lot of different journals that I use. Since I am spiritual, uh, a lot of my daily routines consist of journaling. You don't have to be spiritual to journal, but journaling, lots and lots of journaling, lots of crystals, meditation, tarot. That's the most important part of my day. You should have a key point of your day, something that you love the best, whether it be playing with your cat or doing art. Like, I have a lot of things that I do, like eating food or going to the gym, but journaling is definitely my favorite. So maybe you guys just need to find a highlight of the day, your favorite thing to do, um, an hour set aside every single day. Of Every day I will do an oracle pull, 
so i'll pull an oracle card and then write about it and then i practice gratitude every day so just writing down a few things i'm thankful for why not you know what i mean at least try it give it a go um it does help i mean it literally makes you think about what you're grateful for each day so that's cool because sometimes we totally forget to stop and pause and think about what we're grateful for because not every day is thanksgiving but um gratitude lists can help with that also drinking water i kind of want to talk about for a second so obviously we all know it's very very good to drink water that's what the main thing that is keeping us going or else our body will completely shut down and we just need it um so sometimes people struggle with drinking water and um you know they have a big glass of water in the morning sometimes um but having a water bottle is definitely the most important thing you can you can bring it with you wherever you go you can't bring a glass of water with you wherever you go um and then those plastic water bottles like you know you don't finish them or they get lost or you don't know when that was from and it's just i feel like having a water bottle um one that you think is cute especially so you feel like drawn to it more um would help with that I honestly pretty much also ate the same thing every day. Bagels and cream cheese, I was eating that like every day for breakfast. Sometimes I'd switch it up, have toast and jelly or eggs or something. But for the most part, I was eating bagels and cream cheese every day. Like it was to the point where I knew what to expect every day. Like, and I, I like that. I like that feeling. I crave like comfort and stability, like I said, once in a while. But you know, you have to break free from it sometimes. But um, also when I'm eating food, I, um, watch youtube videos and it's usually somebody like eating food like whether it be a mukbang asmr video or just a random like food show kind of Then I will go ahead and change for my job. Also, I don't always have a job, but once in a while I like to get a job. Um, I've had a lot of jobs actually. I've had like 30 jobs and I, um, well, I guess I have a quitting problem, but that's besides, that's besides the point. It helps me find stability even more. So like I know sometimes that I'll be able to go to a job every day and base that around my daily routine and also make as much money as I can so I don't have to work the next couple months. Do you know what I mean? I did have a job as a receptionist for a little bit at the front desk um, of a dog place, of a dog daycare. I honestly like this job because I just got to draw all day and I'm actually creating an oracle deck right now. It's like a tarot oracle deck. I don't know. Um, but it has a bunch of mythological creatures in it. But So I basically just got paid to, to do that. So that was nice. Um, and then, of course, seeing the dogs made me super happy too. So that was like a cute job. Um, I, like I said, I find it super hard to walk, work in facilities. Um, so I usually end up leaving them, but they're fine for a little bit. But if you don't know what to do, honestly, this was a pretty good job.
made me happy, got to see the dogs all the time. I usually end up getting annoyed of going to a facility and getting paid from someone else rather than me when I know that I could be working on myself somewhere else um, or creating content or doing whatever it is that I want to be doing. Um, I feel like it just takes up a lot of my time when I could be doing something even more important. But we all have bills to pay, am I right? But yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Um, but that was pretty much my daily routine, what I did for the past three months. So it's cute, but I'm excited to see where this new journey of not having a daily routine, which obviously I've had before, but not having one. But I'm excited to see where it leads me because I'm like testing the theories now. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you feel about daily routines, if you have any, and all of that. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.